Good morning, Sax Lions, and welcome back to KSAC News. Along with a new special segment, this week we'll cover updates on the presidential debate, the Breonna Taylor case, and the Travis Scott burger. KSAC News has you covered, and it starts right now. A grand jury came to a final verdict on the Breonna Taylor case this past week. In March, Breonna Taylor was shot eight times and killed by Louisville police when they attempted to serve a search warrant in her apartment. Taylor's boyfriend believed that the police were intruders and fired one shot, saying it was out of self-defense. The police fired 32 shots in return and protests haven't stopped since. The case went to a grand jury on Wednesday and former Louisville police officer Brett Hankison was indicted on three charges of wanton endangerment. The other two officers were not charged for the fired shots and no one was charged for Ms. Taylor's death. Protests persist not only in Louisville but across the country as well, arguing that proper justice has yet to be served. Thanks, Sophie. Tuesday night was the first 2020 presidential debate, or according to Ms. Jeffries, the presidential debacle. It was between Vice President Joe Biden and President Donald Trump and, well, the debate did not go too smoothly. Voters said that there is no true winner. COVID-19, the Supreme Court, the economy, race, and violence were discussed, and unfortunately, there is still a lot of arguing and interrupting between the two nominees. The next event is the vice presidential debate, which will be on Wednesday. Well, at least Donald Trump brought back football. That's all for political news. Don't forget to register to vote, and now to Reagan Blakey with local news. Thanks, Alex. It has now been released. Spurs legend Tony Parker wrote his very own autobiography titled, beyond all of my dreams. This book will be released on November 17th. The beloved Spurs point guard opens up about his personal life and career in the NBA. This biography addresses Parker's early life in France, his four NBA championships with the Spurs, and numerous interactions with luminaries such as Greg Popovich and Tim Duncan. That's all for local news this week, and now to Chloe with a special package. This is my experience with the newest special order from McDonald's that took the internet by storm the Travis Scott Burger. Welcome to McDonald's. Would you like to try one of our $3 bundles? Hi. You know what I'm here for. Travis Scott? Yes, sir. <laughs> so I just got the Travis Scott Burger and it looks like it comes with cheese, bacon, pickles, and lettuce. And let's take a bite. Mmm. <laughs> so the meal looks like it comes with a medium Sprite a medium fry that comes with barbecue sauce because I think that's how Travis Scott likes to eat his fries and the burger just the way he likes it. So thank you, bye. History was made at the Emmys last week when Zendaya was named Best Lead Actress for her role in Euphoria, a drama series on HBO. She's the youngest to win in that category at 24 years old and is also the second black woman to win in the category, following Viola Davis. She beat out Jan Jennifer Aniston, Olivia Coleman, and Laura Lindley for the Emmy. Zendaya started out her acting career on Disney Channel in 2010 on Shake It Up with Bella Thorne, and now has come this far. For those who didn't watch, this year's Emmys were fully virtual for the first time, and hosted by comedian and late night host, Jimmy Kimmel. Thanks, Stella. In college football, ninth-ranked UT wins in overtime against Texas Tech 63-56. 13th-ranked A&M wins a defensive battle with Vanderbilt 17-12. And Baylor had a major victory against Kansas with a final score of 47-14. Now for school sports. Both JV and varsity volleyball won their games Tuesday night against Feast. The Lady Lions are leading among the city's 6A, 5A, and private schools with amazing stats from Katie Siebert in the top 10 for digs. Sadie Nelson ranked 5th in kills, following closely behind Lauren Crismore, ranked 4th for kills, and Rebecca Wilkes ranked 1st in assists. Cross Country made the podium again with wins from boys and girls varsity. Girls JV finished 1st and boys JV finished 3rd. JV football defeated Randolph this past weekend, and don't forget, this Friday night, the football team will face off against Central Catholic here at 7. Come out and support the boys on senior night. That's all for sports news. Now to the latest Riley's Rundown. I'm here with sophomore Brindley Viker. 
Brindley, how has the team helped you transition into sax this year? The whole team has been super welcoming. They've shown me around. I have a few more friends than I did coming in, so they've just been really nice all around. Senior Adriana Ellard. Adriana, how did it feel to be honored at senior night? It was honestly so great um, having friends and family there, um, waiting just like all these three years to be able to come up and finally have that moment. Um, it was just really special to me. I'm here with junior Peyton Guillory. Peyton, you had a shoulder injury recently. How did you ensure a fast recovery to get back on the court? Yeah, so earlier in the season I had a rotator strain and I was definitely using our trainer KJ to do um, stem and bands in the morning and that helps me get back on the court quickly. Awesome, and what are you doing to be an encouraging team member? Um, so actually I've been assigned the role of Benergy, which is the energy on the bench this year. It's kind of slang for our team and I'm in charge of encouraging and making sure that everyone's being encouraging and hyper on the bench. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you so much, Peyton. Yeah, That's sure. it for Riley's Rundown. See you next week. That's all for KSAC this week. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at sax.news and have a great rest of your day.